Welcome to today's Tech Byte. Today we're going to be looking at how to remove and override from your cabinet. And we're also going to be talking a little bit about the importance of being aware of overrides. So let's get started and we're going to start a new job. Now remember Solid is building your objects according to everything that's being chosen on this page the construction method that you've set up, the material schedules that you've set up, the hardwares and doors, etc. But Solid always gives you the ability to do a manual override because we know that in the woodworking business you're always running into situations that are unique and require something special so a manual override is always available for you. Let me give you an example of an override. I'm going to take this cabinet into the editor. If you'll notice, as our construction method stated, we are using a 32 millimeter style construction, which means there are no face frame parts. I'm going to say that for this job, this one cabinet needs to be built using face frame. Perhaps it's going in a study, perhaps it's going in a library or something. Whatever the situation, it needs to be a face frame construction. Now, if we go back to the main page, you're going to notice that in the overrides, it now shows up where we change the construction method. So keep that in mind as I show you an example of how overrides affect your cabinets. So for this one job, the override is fine. It's what we intended. But now I make the mistake that I save this cabinet back into the catalog. Now I'm not going to save it and override my cabinet, but I am going to do a save as and call it standard base face frame override. Now let me delete my standard cabinet and we're going to pull this standard cabinet back out again. If you had forgotten to remove the override from your cabinet, when you saved it back to the catalog, that override is still there. So as you see, it's still being made in a face frame style, even though the construction method for this job clearly states that it's 32 millimeter and frameless. So the override is still there. So what you want to do is come here, click the override, and remove it. And as you can see, it now builds according to the construction method that is in the room. Now, of course, if this has happened to you, you'll want to come back, save this cabinet back to the catalog, without the override on it. So that's the importance of overrides or being aware of them. Anytime an object is not being built according to what you are expecting based on the construction methods, material schedules, etc., the first thing you want to check is if you happen to have put an override on there and forgotten about it or it was mistakenly saved back to the, cab to the catalog when it shouldn't have been. So that's a look at removing overrides. This completes today's training movie. I would like to remind you of your training options. The help files are available within each Cabinet Vision product. The eSupport technical website is a great resource for questions and answers and features a technician monitored forum. Regional training classes are available so please contact your customer service representative for the classes in your area. If you would like someone to come on site to your location and train your team, this can be arranged. Online training is a very convenient method for training over the internet. The e-learning training series is a series of topics which you can purchase online and download for immediate use. If you have questions about this or anything else, please go to our website, cabinetvision.com. 
We look forward to you joining us next time. Thank you for watching.